Hey guys, it is Storm and I am back. Um, back inside my single player Tiverton world. This is a world that I've been calling Tiverton. There's quite a few videos on my channel uh, about this world. If you haven't seen those, check them out. I have a build playlist. Most of the episodes are posted in there. And what I thought I would do, um, I would respond to some of the requests from you guys around having an LP or some kind of building series. So what I thought I'll do is I'll post a few bit more regular updates around this particular map. Um, maybe once a week or something like that and yeah it it'll be yeah just me mucking around in my single player world um, it's survival uh, might be some buildings some survival type stuff and yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this um, if you want to know a bit more about this particular map or where stuff is and you haven't really been following these kind of videos uh, the last uh, uh, I think three videos that I posted about this particular world were world tour based so it's where I went through all my world I've shown you guys what I've been working on and this episode will be a, another quick recap on some of the changes since those three videos were made. Uh, so go back and watch those if you want to know more about this particular world and where stuff is and some of the, the builds that I've worked on and yeah hopefully you like this. So this is new since the last video I posted on my channel. Um, this pyramid here I made some time ago now but it's something that I haven't shown before or posted a video about. And I made this because when I was over on uh, on the shore over there, uh, this is where my main world is on, on the opposite side here. Um, there was this uh, sand you know, little island here that always sort of represented the shape of a pyramid. So I thought, hey, why not actually turn it into a pyramid? And that's what I've done. So uh, it's not a pretty straightforward um, pyramid design. It's got a beacon on the inside. Um, it's it's pretty simple design, really. Uh, nice, clean uh, kind of look. And yeah, I think, whoa, some kind of key is stuck. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I hate that with Minecraft. I don't know if you guys ever get that, but sometimes I get... Ah. All right. This is... Uh... <laughs> okay. What I was saying is sometimes I get a key that gets stuck. And of course, this is always a problem in Minecraft, isn't it? Where... Damn well, we're all day. Um, anyway, so what I thought I'll do is... Take you guys through what I've been working on. Ooh, stormy as well. And yeah, something I did decide on doing was uh, this whole area here is my main base. This is where I've been building my, my like it's a town, some kind of village. And what I want to do is turn this into more of an island. So the thing I want to going to do is put a. Well, I have been working on a river system connecting this water here all the way around to the opposite side here. So I want to turn this into a large island. And I think they'll look pretty cool. So I'll jump in a boat and go on the, over to the other side. But first of all, I think I'll wait for it to stop raining. And then I'll, uh, yeah, I'll cruise on over and I'll show you guys the rest of the building. Damn nature, you scary. Alright. I'll hang out here and then I'll show you guys uh, the opposite side here. Okay, so I uh, went ahead and slept to get rid of that rain. Um, it just wouldn't stop raining, so... Here we are, this is what it looks like now from my island, or what will become my island, looking over at this pyramid where we started off the video. And I really like the, the look that this pyramid has from this distance, where you can still see the entrance quite well, and I really like the two different uh, the shades that you get, or the, the colour variation you have on this pyramid with the two sides there. So yeah, I think that's a nice looking uh, overlook that you have from this area. Um, this, this whole section here is new, this is just a simple dock where I've been doing some fishing and I'll probably do more fishing down here when I finally upgrade to uh, the 1.7 update and yeah this uh, is some kind of uh, welcome shack or some kind of village shack here I did transport a villager uh, into here uh, from my village which is in that direction and I originally had quite a few problems uh, keeping zombies out uh, from this area um, zombies would swarm in from all over the place so what I did is I originally had a door here I took that out and just replace that with this simple fence gate so uh, this little guy can't get out and uh, zombies can't get in so it's a win-win situation so I don't really have to worry about that again um, quite a simple uh, setup don't want to go uh, too modern with these kind of buildings it's, it's kind of a, a mix between old and new and that's the kind of theme that I'm going with uh, for this island here uh, if you've been watching my videos, you'll notice that these kind of palm tree designs aren't new to me. This is something I've been using for a while, and I think it looks good uh, on this kind of setup. 
um, with just having some palms on the, the beach here. And I'll probably put some more palms around various spots along the beach. This is where this will eventually become my island. Uh, I, my river system is over in that direction. I'll, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, now something else that I've uh, worked on. If I can follow my own stairs here. Um, this is something you would have seen me post the video on. Now this is just a simple uh, chicken farm where uh, you just uh, throw in some eggs into here to make some chicken spawn and as they lay eggs the uh, dispenser here shoots out and makes these uh, well, you have a chance of getting a chicken spawn on this side and when they grow up uh, you get the meat and uh, you get the feathers as well I probably won't use the feathers because I have so many arrows from my various skeletons and uh, skeleton spawners so uh, yeah I I've been uh, munching on uh, a bit of chicken meat every now and then. Currently, I'm kind of going through my uh, well, my cooked potato phase. But every now and then, I want to change up my diet, and uh, yeah, I'll snack on something else. So yeah, this is something um, that I've, that's new, and yeah, there's a tutorial on how to make this on my channel. Okay, so moving on, I'll go over and I'll show you uh, the river system that I've been working on. So over here is where I've been working on. Uh, creating this or turning this section into an island. So I've been creating a little river system or uh, just a way to separate this section of the land to that section of the land. And it's going to be some kind of river design that will come through around here, wrap around. You would have seen me use TNT at the start of the video as I was clearing this area. And it's just something that I've just started to use mainly because I was just <laughs> tired repairing my shovels. Um, I've had to, my last shovel actually broke, I didn't repair it in time, so I've got this one that I need to enchant. And yeah, I thought, why not use TNT? I don't really use TNT too much to clear out land, I don't know why. Um, I mainly just use tools and whatnot, and sometimes a beacon to help speed up the process. But uh, yeah, this is a section that I've been working on, I think it'll look quite nice once it's done. And I've got different height levels here, so this height level here goes all the way around down to the ocean that's down there and I brought it up a couple of levels here and I might turn this into like a little waterfall section where water will run down different uh, block types. I'm not sure what to have at the base of the, the river here, um, whether I'll leave it like this or if I'll put dirt or gravel or something down there. Um, but yeah I have been working on this a fair bit and I think it'll look quite nice when I'm done. Uh, this is where my original sand farm was, which I'm probably going to turn into some kind of lake. So I'm going to have this river connect up uh, with this area here. I'll flood this with water and I'll probably change the, the borders a bit so it's not such a rect uh, fixed rectangular shape here. And I've got so much sand by digging out this river that I probably won't need a sand farm again. And on this other side, I'm not sure how to join this up yet, but this is something that I have to think about. Um, I'm not sure to have this higher up or bring this down a section, but this is another area that I've cleared out um, which will eventually connect down to the water down here. If I can get here. So. I'm not sure why that's dark, but yeah, I have lit up most of the areas around here. In fact, that looks like a, sp that looks like a spawner down there that I... Uh, must have went straight past. Anyway, so this is one. Are you going to load up or are you going to stay like that? There we go. Okay, so this is wraps around. This is the modern house that sits up there. And my jungle tree village is down that way. So this is something, yeah, that I think will look quite nice when I've connected it all up. I've just got to think about the height levels here and maybe uh, reduce this height down a little bit on this side and also on this other side so it doesn't look so unnatural um, but yeah this is something uh, that I have been working on it's been taking a lot of my time so I haven't really posted a video on of this map mainly because this is what I've been working on and it's not that exciting uh, just seeing me dig out blocks after block <laughs> um, for a design like this now I do want to w widen a section down here um, I thought it was a little bit narrow so I thought we'll just do that now I've already placed the TNT it's this section here, I just I think this section would look a bit better if it was a little bit wider. I think these chests over here are far enough away where it's not going to destroy it, but um, let's see what this looks like when this is done. Probably 
probably a little bit deeper than I had hoped, <laughs> but that's okay. Oops. Did I get that or not? Wow. That was a long delay. So I'll tidy that up. I think I like that kind of shape actually, where it juts out a little bit further in that direction. And then comes wrapping around. So I th yeah, I think I'll uh, smooth that off, make that look quite nice, and might even have that. That could be a deeper section maybe of this uh, river section. So when I was making this area out of TNT, uh, well I was using TNT to clear out some of this area, um, I didn't really have that much TNT uh, in my supplies, so I did create a new mob farm to collect uh, some gunpowder. Uh, so I, did, I didn't really have a mob farm before that I could use to get creepers to spawn. It was uh, the mob farm that I've been using uh, for most of this time has been a triple mob spawner, which I think is uh, two skeleton spawners and a zombie spawner, uh, all nice and close to each other. Um, but yeah, that obviously doesn't spawn creepers. So I did create a, another mob farm right next to my original triple mob spawner. And I'll just show you guys what that looks like. Um, it's nothing too too unique or there's nothing you probably haven't seen before it's a typical kind of mob farm I did change this entrance area here a little bit to uh, make it look a little bit nicer you can probably hear this is where I now have mobs come up and I just burn them into the lava and the items go down and I collect the items so this is my area down here for my triple mob spawner so triple mob spawner is just here this is where I would usually come here and just farm some XP if I want it, or I just get some item drops or not from using those mob spawners. Um, but yeah, over here is where I created uh, just the standard mob mob farm, just based off uh, dark rooms basically with some spawning pads. And this is where the, the items come down and collect. So I've got a whole bunch of gunpowder now, and I don't really use the, the bone mill or the arrows or the, the rotten flesh really from this mob farm. I could uh, add some kind of up sorting system eventually to clear that stuff out. Because I get all that from my triple mob spawner and I've, to be honest, I've got chests full of that stuff uh, just over there. So I've been using this to get, to get the, the gunpowder. And I've got now a couple of stacks of TNT, which is pretty cool. So I'll just come up here. I'm not sure if I've shown this exit way before, but if not, there you go, that's one way how I get up from the bottom down there. And an area that I've also worked on, <laughs> let's just run away from that, is just connecting up uh, these portals to make it a little bit easier to move items in and out of, that was a little strange, in and out of the nether. I did change this design a little bit as well, so before I didn't have um, these stairs pulling out. They only went up two blocks higher than the other ones were fixed. But uh, with the 1.7 update that's coming up, um, where you can have different height or different size portals, I am going to make this a giant portal. And it was always sort of intended to look like a giant portal, and that's why I originally had the purple wool there. So I will make that when the 1.7 update comes out. So this area is different. Uh, if you've watched my the last few Tivinu videos, you would notice this is different. Um, this is where I've just been storing quartz and things that I've been getting from the nether. I'm going to the nether a fair bit. And what I have here is just a couple of ways that I use furnaces now. Here's just the regular furnaces to, if you want to get XP out of this furnace. And this is just an automated version where I throw in coal or any other fuel source in here and anything I want to smelt and the items will come up to this chest here. So, very simple design and I use that a fair bit, particularly when I've been using hardened clay, I'll just stick it in my uh, clay blocks in here and they'll get smelted and stored over here. Uh, so this area is also new, this is where I mainly wanted to connect up an easier way to get horses into the nether. Um, before it was quite cumbersome to get horses all the way down to a portal. Um, 
I'll just actually I will tell you what this means. So these redstone lamps here aren't just for looks. I originally had lava around here and I just used lava to on this ground floor to just make it look a little bit I don't know, unique I guess. And um yeah what when these lights are on it means that there's fuel in the system. So when you throw fuel in here, I wanted a way to show that um, there is fuel available, so if I put stuff in here expecting it to smelt, um, it would smelt. So the way I do that is I just have a comparator hooked up to a couple of things down in this design where yeah, when these are on, it tells me that there's, there's fuel in the system. So even though while there's nothing in this chest, if I throw an item into here, it will smelt. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I did change this area a little bit, but that's nothing too fancy. As I was mentioning that I did want to get a, another way to get horses or other things into the nether. This is the way I do that now. I just cleared out a section in here where this wraps all the way around underneath my little village section and it joins up with my horse uh, stable I guess you would call this. Just w a, a next section where I've been breeding and storing more horses. I do have some donkeys in here and yeah, this is where I keep all my horses, if you didn't know. That just wraps around the, the back of this tavern, I guess you might call this. Yeah, I'd call this a tavern. Yeah, so that's how things are connecting up now in my farm, where um, where my map here, I do have... I do want to try and create it a bit easier to get horses around, because I like building in a dense kind of way, where a lot of my walkways are only one block wide, and I use trees a lot. Um, it's very difficult to ride a horse around uh, on the surface here, so I have been creating those walkways underneath pretty much my whole village here. Oh, there goes the fan, I'll be back in a sec. Sorry about that, I am back. And yeah, as just as I was saying, uh, I am trying to create more walkways now underneath my, my village, my town, my building area here, um, just to make it easier to use horses. Uh, when I first made this, horses went out, so uh, I didn't really have that in mind when I made a lot of the uh, pathways. So yeah, that's something that I've been uh, working on. And I eventually want to connect up most of my areas from underneath as well. I think that's a pretty cool way to go to either travel around on the surface or um, underground. Uh, my beacons here I still use. I've been using been turning these on uh, during the day recently. If you haven't seen this setup before, I just have uh, controllable uh, beacon powers here where I can either turn this on during the day or turn it off. And I usually have it off uh, during the day just for aesthetic reasons more than anything where I don't have these beams shooting up uh, during the day. Um, but yeah, I have been using this when I've been uh, digging around the surface, particularly with the haste uh, beacon powder uh, power. So, yeah, that's probably as much as I want to show you guys today. I just wanted to bring you up to speed on what I've been working on. I have upgraded to the latest release, so I'm running uh, 164 at the moment. And I've been running around in the nether, uh, getting all my fortresses um, all up to speed and, and all the structures uh, mapped out in my save file. So I shouldn't have any problems when I eventually upgrade to 1.7, which I plan on doing pretty soon. I think this is also cool where whenever you walk along around here you hear those mobs being killed. So you could hear then uh, creepers being killed. I guess it's a good way to know that uh, the mob spawner yeah, is working or the mob spawns are busy doing what they should be doing. So thanks for watching and next uh, video that I post will probably be just another uh, status update on the river system which I've been creating. And hopefully by then I uh, will have completed that. If not I'll give you guys an update on how that's going. So thanks for watching guys and until next time, stay cool. Alright, see you guys. Cheers.